Hey guys, we're going to inspect the hive IQ again today. It's like all the other hives, well especially hive three has been super beardy. It's bearding out. Like it's been hot, but this hive just seems to be taking the temperature really well. And hopefully what we'll see is it's busy inside, but they don't get very busy outside, so they don't beard, so it regulates the temperature very well. That's what I've heard the polyon polystyrene hives do. They regulate the temperature well, so let's get into it and have a look, hey? Sounds good when you crack the lid. Not many frames of bees. There's a few. Not super busy though. Here's a smoker. There we go. Give him a bit of a smoke. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, about 20, keep, de 20 keep, degrees. If you keep Filming that, I'll go get the frame line. Yeah, about 10 o'clock. We received a bit of a question on the channel from the Hive IQ guys actually about where we bought our frame holder, but this was a bit of a team effort. My father-in-law, my father, and I built this just off one that we already had purchased for the other hives. We just made all the parts ourselves and then spot welded it. So it's not hard to do. You can just bend it in a vise and all that and it will be perfect. Because there's not one available to buy. What's the honey flow been like lately? Well, the honey flow's been pretty slow, so they haven't really been producing much honey, so maybe there isn't much nectar flow. Let's have a look at Apparently this. a new flow will come in February, oh, which is... I've just broken that frame, so that's no good. Apparently a new flow will come in February. That's what you, you've heard, we've heard, that it dies off for those months, so they've actually put that frame in so well that I've broken it when I've tried to get it out. Yeah, so I don't know how we're going to go with this one. Pull the other frame out beside it first. Take the trap out. Should have a look at how the traps, what it's catching, I guess. Oh, geez. Look at that. A lot of high beetles in there. I better get a new one. What do you got in the traps? Just, we put actually olive oil in there. We found that vegetable oil or the, doesn't really work as well. They have expensive tasting oil. So how are we going to do this, do you reckon?
Will you be able to fix that frame? I hope so. Good work. Where's your frame holder? Like? actual holes. Whoops, that's no good. Make the bees angry. There you go. We might put that one back in the middle so it's we probably don't like the tapping either so we won't do that on top of there. So there's that frame holder that we made. Works well, a treat. So these look like they've got a fair bit of honey in them. They're not probably capped enough to extract it yet. What can you see on that side, Sonia? Like 80, 90% full. Oh yeah, so. The outside one wasn't the best. We like them to be 100% complete. We'll just check one or two more in here. Maybe the middle ones to see what's going on. Yeah, see, Nothing. on this side, not much. Same on the other. Yeah. So as this is sort of explaining our little talk before about the nectar flow hasn't been all that great. Or they, I've heard that it sort of starts off well in late spring, early summer. But then it dies off a bit. Yeah, so it's not. There's a lot of nectar on this side, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then picks up again mid to late February. So hopefully that's what we notice. We might just finish this inspection. I'll put that the frame that the pins come out of in the middle, and that way it'll be easier to get out next time. Hopefully we don't roll many bees. Maybe you should have wiped the wax off the sides before. Pull it back out again. There's a whole heap of wax on the front. It's probably preventing that. See how you've got wax there? Oh no, see that if you look how the frame's built, that won't, that's just because the bees like to build it out of this. Have a look and see how much I have to keep that brick out. Okay, let's get that. So, once again, not overly a heap of frames of bees. Oh, They're getting a bit angry, aren't they? I'm trying to just quickly. Did you smoke him? Uh, yeah, maybe that's why they're so angry. Except that, that smoke actually makes them angrier. Because they just retreat back in. I don't know if it makes them angrier, but they don't like it, that's for sure. Yeah, there's a myth that it calms them down, I doubt it. They think there's a bushfire. Oh, hardly any honey on that one. Oh, yeah, that's, nice. that's capped a little bit. Very nice. 
Can you put that crane holder in? I can do that for you. I think they're all going to be the same. Like I said, there hasn't been much of a nectar flow, so we'll quickly get down before we get too much anger and inspect this brood box. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's not good. Brood above the queen excluder. Although maybe she's headed back down. I'm not sure. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? On both sides. We better check this out fully then. I'll just quickly. Geez, they're really angry. Let's just see if we can quickly see her anywhere. Pine up here, I can see. Can't see her anywhere. take all the bees off all the frames into the bottom box. Well, this has turned into a bit of a, an interesting video now. Let's try and go a bit quicker. Let's try and try and find it. So there's not really that much new brood, so maybe she's been up here and gone back down. But you know, you'd think that if she's up here, she can't get back down past the queen excluder. Can't see her anywhere. Not really looking. Sorry? I'll look for now. she got up there somehow when we were last doing an inspection which was about two weeks ago now I guess the brood box would tell us the story we noticed last time she was really small well there she is is that her? yeah that's her okay. it's there just going through there. Here she comes there, see? Is that her or not? I think so. I think it is. Which point her out again? Just this one here. Going around onto the other side now. Is that her? Maybe not. I, I think know. it is. Just there. Yeah, that that is her. I'm pretty sure that's her. Okay, so what we need to do is get the queen clip. Can you? Hold on, I'm going to pause. After, if you look down here, we've had to take all the frames out. And it's like a few moments later. And we've got her in the queen cage. So what we did was took all the frames out. And she's See, obviously... There she's just there. 
Um, she's right here un, un, at the tip of my thing. See? Mm -hmm. You can see that she's got a bum body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all the bees are accumulating around her, so it's a good sign. Okay. That's definitely her though. Mm -hmm. Just there. She, like, she just can't get out. So that's definitely her. So if she's stuck in there, the other bees can get in and so, so we what we're going to do now is we're going to put her down in the bottom thing. Well, I guess we should actually check if there's another queen down there as well. So what we did was took all the frames out and just inspected all the bees here sitting in. So you could see her trying to get through that queen excluder, but she couldn't. Okay. Alright, as you can see, she's in the queen cage. We caught her. Um, we've put all the, the frames back into the box and we're going to take this box off and just inspect to make sure there isn't two queens. I don't think there will be, but probably down the bottom we'll see that it's very barren, not much brew, but you never know. There could be. frames of these but I think that's because we've been smoking them down to get to try and find the queen. <laughs> if it's got two queens or well, maybe she can get through the queen excluder that's the beauty about beekeeping you never know what you're going to get from day to day a little bit of a lot of pollen a little bit of capped brood We'll just go through this quickly because I think that they're all going to be a bit like this. There's not much. Well, there's some brood there, though. We've got to look for... And there's some larvae. So have we got two queens? Maybe, possibly two queens. Maybe you should look for the queen on this Although one. we didn't really see any larvae in the top one. <laughs> Maybe she's only just been up there recently. Look. I don't know how she got up there. We haven't done an inspection in probably two, three weeks. Because it's been awful weather. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so there's definitely a, the existence of a queen down here, I think. So two queens. Very <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's definitely. See, we've got all that lava. See, that, help, see if we can see her. That's the beauty about the high IQ. You can have two queens existing in it. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I think that's an anomaly. Maybe she's just recently got up there, but you wouldn't think so. Like we didn't see any larvae up the top, we only saw fruit. So maybe she's the old queen, but I still don't understand how she would have got up there. I can't even start to imagine. Does any of the viewers know what's going on with that? Write your comments below. And you better subscribe too. Because when you subscribe with me, that's your way of telling us that you like these videos and we'll keep on creating them for you. Down. Well, I remember a long time ago, one of the viewers said there was two queens, mm -hmm. and we were like, "No, no, no, she's just gone over the." Maybe we'll just put it back in and let them live harmoniously. And we've also noticed the brood was slowing down over the last couple of months, weeks as well. Because we've had rainy weather, humidity. Generating heat, who knows? But fingers crossed, we'll see her on here. Although I haven't seen her, there's pretty good indication that she's in this bottom box somewhere. So to me, that makes me think we've got two queens, but we found that other queen. See, she's here. It's hard to see her, but look at all those bees surrounding her. So what will you do? I'm not sure I'm going to go back through these as I move them across and see if I can find another queen, but... This might have to be a few moments later moment. Okay, see you soon. 
All right, we've done an exhaustive search. As you can see, all those bees are trying to get to that queen. We really did find evidence. There was larvae and eggs. So unless she's got up past the queen excluding in the last couple of days, there must be two queens, but I can't. I've looked through every frame twice and can't find her at all, a secondary queen. So the only thing we can do is put this one back down in here. What we'll do is we'll get this off. Just do last final checks to make sure she's not on there anywhere. So all I can think of to do is even if there was two living in here, which is unusual, we're going to have to put it back in there and they'll just let nature take its course and fight to the death, I guess. So we'll just shake this down here and see, you can see her just there. She's just bouncing around. Just there she is, trying to get out. Just there, right at the tip. You can see her. Yeah, so we're just gonna, there's a good view of her. Okay, so we'll just open it up and let her go out there now. There she goes. And then she drops in there. Did she drop in? She's not still in there, actually. No, she's gone back in and sort of going in or not? So. We can check on the video anyway, we'll see it. You can see they're all trying to stay there because they can smell her scent on that queen cage thing. She's definitely not in there. No. Okay, so have a look around for her here. She's gone down inside, I'm assuming. Put the queen excluder on there. Well, that was a good time. Lucky we found it. We found one, so there's definitely going to be a queen. So let's just have a look on here and see if there's any holes in this queen excluder. Not that I can see. Okay. Just smoke, smoking around, so I, I just don't want her to get up in the top in that box again. Once you put this on, she shouldn't be able to get in. So we'll make the wax hold this down. Okay, so she shouldn't be able to get out there. Put some new fresh traps in there with olive oil. We'll push that down. There we go. And this, this, this definitely didn't need to be extracted. Again. As it is, we kind of use the extension. This is fairly heavy, so soon that will need to be extracted. Okay. So yeah, like like I said, the evidence seem to point to a queen being in that bottom box as well as in that top box. Here's the one that had, oh there's a bit of pollen that's fallen off a bee's leg I'm guessing. But Sonia replaced it with a new trap because that one's full of hive beetles. Obviously we've got a bit of a hive beetle problem. Oh, I'll just put that there so we don't have to get it. Pick that up so I don't stand on it again. Okay. Okay, put this lid back on. 
And that was an exciting inspection today. Let's get it on. One down, four to go. One down, four to go.